Presented by Cheritz. Supported by Kroby Doll. I felt something warm touch my hair. Soft hands. This was like Grandpa's hands. Am I dreaming? Huh? I woke up. I felt the warm hands stroking my hair. I've worried you. It was Lance's hand. It was definitely Lance's hand stroking my hair. His hands were so soft, I just stayed still. Did you fall asleep like this? I'm embarrassed. I'll get up now. It's fine. Stay still. His voice was unlike his usual one. Oh yeah, I fell asleep while caring for him. <sighs> he started breathing heavily. Lance? I didn't. I didn't mean to worry you. What do I do? I'm fine. I was just thankful that I got to know how he truly felt. If I knew he felt that anxious, I would have cared more. If anything worries you, please just tell me. I can listen to whatever you have to say. I closed my eyes and said, What worries me? Lance stopped stroking my hair. I've already told you, so you know now. But there is something I want to ask. Go ahead. Will you... Will you never leave me? You idiot. I didn't reply and instead teased him. Idiot. I even felt a bit upset. I never thought of leaving Lance. But I felt upset he thought that I would. He's the doll I've spent the most time with. Do I look like I'd do something like that? Why were you suddenly so nervous? Getting caught in the rain. Like an idiot. Come to think of it, Lance was a bit weird since yesterday. Now that I think back, I can kind of guess why. Is it because of Red? He told me he compared himself to Red and envied him. You'll stand out anywhere, even outside of school. He's unique in this world. You're not like that because Red asked me to be in the play with him, are you? Lance seemed a bit overworked even then. He didn't even reply to my text. Is that... really it? That's my only guess. Maybe Lance always felt anxious, and that just triggered him more. Would you know what it feels to be left behind? To be left behind? When you are red are surrounded by people getting attention. I didn't like just watching you. I'm doing something anyone can do. Like red said. Lance, you... I turned my head, hearing him tear up a bit. Lance was facing the ground. Is Lance... crying? I was scared. Since anything can replace me. Like that doll. I've spent the most time with you. But I'm nervous. I know that you'll never abandon me. But... I'm still nervous. I don't know since when, but... Every time I look at you... I want you so much. But I still feel so anxious. What happens when I'm abandoned like that someday? I've already felt your warm touch. What do I do when you no longer need me? I'm scared. I'm sorry. I'm the most stupid and weak one. I'm more stupid than Red. I touched his slouched back and carefully embraced him. I won't leave you. He doesn't say anything, but it doesn't matter. The person I was hiding onto was warm, unlike when he was in the rain. And that warmth spread to me. So... I hope he realizes how sincere I am through my arms holding him. I would never leave him. Don't feel nervous. Okay. His small voice rang in my ear after a long time. 
bright sunlight filled this room. Strange. My room never gets bright like this. I opened my eyes. Huh? It's Grandpa's room. I rarely came into this room after Grandpa died. But the reason I'm here is because Lance was sick yesterday. I see traces of red in Lance here and here. Right. Lance. I looked around and Lance wasn't here. I remember falling asleep here with him, and then I heard a knock. I didn't answer, but the door opened. Oh! Lance! Lance opened the door and came in. You're awake. Thank God. He looked better now. How do you feel? I feel fine. Sorry for last night. He looked healthy as he talked, but I couldn't help but ask about last night. I carefully brought out the subject. Do you remember last night? Slightly. Slightly? You mean you remember part of it? Then... Then could you tell me exactly which parts you remember and which parts you don't? I was still bothered by yesterday and had to ask him about everything. <laughs> you just smirked, right? Lance smiled at seeing me ask nervously. I felt good that he smiled since he rarely does, but this time it was like he was just teasing me. I felt kind of pissed. I was about to stay that way when I remembered everything Lance told me yesterday. Everything because Lance felt so anxious. I wanted to talk about it again so he understands for sure when he's clear-headed. Don't say the things like you said yesterday. Like an idiot. If you remember what you said. I would have been fine if you had just called. If you call me, I'll run straight to you. So trust me more, Lance. Lance was silent. I was wondering if he was even listening when he leaned towards me. He stroked my face. Uh, I stiffened in surprise, but soon relaxed. His eyes were still deep and blue, but unlike the violent storm I saw yesterday, I saw a calm sea in his eyes. They were beautiful. I stared into his face while he stroked my cheek. I saw his face every day, but... I can never get used to it. His eyes, like jewels holding the ocean, met mine. His hand that was stroking my cheek slowly moved towards my lips. His long white fingers moved as if outlining my lips. I unconsciously backed off. What? What was that? My heart pounded. I looked at Lance, surprised. You drooled. So not ladylike. Huh? I hastily checked my mouth. It felt clean. He's teasing me again. I glare at him. I'm joking. You spaced out again. So I just wanted to tease you. It is so like you to fall for that. Let's go out. I'm getting hungry. L Lance? I yelled at him as he turned around to head out. I could tell from his back, he went out smiling. Oh god, you scared me! So unlike him to joke around like that! The door suddenly opened again. Oh, right. Before I could even feel surprised, Lance continued talking. About the play, I think it could be a good experience for you. What? About the play? He must be talking about the play Red asked me to join. I thought Lance would naturally oppose, so I was surprised. What's gotten into him? If you're going to do it anyways, I'd rather see you do your best. I have to see what dress you're going to wear. Although, I still do not approve that boy playing your partner. He went out as soon as he finished talking. I still... haven't said I'd do it. I said to the closed door, but he probably didn't hear it. I thought he'd say no. I'm surprised. 
but I felt kind of good. He didn't seem to feel inferior towards Red. I think slowly, Lance is turning more stable.